This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. U.S. and Iraqi forces push deeper into Sunni militant strongholds in Baghdad. President Bush shifts his attention to Afghanistan. Has the real hunt for bin Laden begun? All this and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. On Thursday, U.S. and Iraqi forces pushed deeper into Sunni militant strongholds in Baghdad with the hopes that a campaign of arrests and armed seizures would convince average Iraqis that militiamen are losing ground. Yet each day, explosions keep rocking the capital and its environs, a reminder of the militants' resources and resolve. Meanwhile, many Iraqis claim that the security push is doomed to fail because most of the militants have already fled the city. Iraq also temporarily closed its borders with Syria on Wednesday, and conflicting reports deepened the mystery about the whereabouts of the radical Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr, whose loyalists include the Mahdi army militia. Amidst all of this, Bush renewed his emphasis on Afghanistan. While acknowledging that the Taliban continue to work to destabilize the country, President Bush said that Afghanistan has made significant political and social gains. But the president made no mention of the hunt for Osama bin Laden, who was believed at one point to be hiding in the mountainous region in the Afghan-Pakistan border. His trail has apparently gone cold. The snow is going to melt in the Hindu Kush mountains, and when it does, we can expect fierce fighting to continue. The Taliban and al-Qaeda are preparing to launch new attacks. Our strategy is not to be on the defense, but to go on the offense. This spring, there's going to be a new offensive in Afghanistan, and it's going to be a NATO offensive. A 3,200-member brigade from the Army's 10th Mountain Division that was scheduled to come home in February will instead stay for another four months in Afghanistan. In addition, the Pentagon said this week that the 173rd Airborne Brigade, originally slated to head to Iraq, will then replace it, increasing U.S. troops in Afghanistan to 27,000. As part of his emergency war spending package sent to Congress this month, the President asked for $8.6 billion for training Afghan security forces, $1.4 billion for reconstruction, and $1.8 billion for drug fighting and other activities. With the clock ticking on his presidency, Mr. Bush has not fulfilled the promise he has made to the American people. Speaking after a Pentagon briefing with reporters shortly after the September 11 attacks in 2001, Bush offered some of his most blunt language to date when he was asked if he wanted bin Laden dead. And beseech Allah the exalted in your prayers to grant them success, make firm their foothold and strengthen their hearts. He is the custodian of that and able to do it. I want justice, Bush said, and there is an old poster out west I recall that said, wanted dead or alive. Has the real countdown for the hunt for bin Laden begun? During a recent visit to Pakistan, Secretary of Defense Robert Gates was asked about the hunt for Osama bin Laden and whether the subject was discussed during his meeting with President Bervez Musharraf. He replied, If I were Osama bin Laden, I would keep looking over my shoulder. I'm Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org mosaic. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.